This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Next up on the toolbar is the razor tool. It slices, it dices, it cuts, it always stays sharp, and it's going to be the most indispensable part of your editing repertoire. It's located up here, and lo and behold, it does look like a razor. So let's click on it to activate it, and we'll bring it down to our timeline, and we come down into Video 1 and Audio 1, and obviously these two tracks are linked, and all you do is simply come down, find the spot you want to edit, you click on it, and it cuts both the audio and the video. Control Z to back that out. Now, if we want to edit the video track separate from the audio track, hold down the Alt key, click, and then it will cut only the video track. If you want to cut only the audio track, hold down Alt again, come down to Audio, click, and it will cut in wherever you want it to cut. Control Z, Control Z to back out of those. Let's look at another function. Notice I have two markers, two timeline markers right here. And obviously I have those in because these are where I want to make cuts. So as I move back and forth, notice this line up here in the, in the timeline moves in accordance with wherever the razor tool is. So if you want to be real intricate and you want to make sure you've got your exact spot, come through, line it up, make your cut. Come down here, line it up, make your cut, and then of course you can slice and dice as much as you want to. So using the razor tool in conjunction with this timeline marker will help you get through your project and your editing functions very, very quickly.